<laughs> we got a classic theory crafting here from our old friends Brightside, who make all sorts of very amazing what if videos. They have created the newest masterpiece, the newest fresh bread out of the oven, the newest magnum opus. If the Kraken was real, Titanic wouldn't have sunk. How those things are connected at all, I don't know, but I can't wait to hear it. The Kraken is a colossal squid, yeah. a legendary sea monster, totally. the biggest hunk of calamari you ever saw. Yeah. And if this monster had existed, the world would have changed beyond recognition. Sure. The Kraken has powerful tentacles, solid muscles with suckers at the end. They're just impossible to escape. Sure. The Kraken can break a ship in half or just pull it down into the depths. But the worst thing about the Kraken is its size. Sure. According to old sailor stories, the Kraken reached 5,000 feet in length. That's almost 10 soccer fields. Hey, what? maybe the Kraken Wait, could- 5,000 feet? There are people who reported that the Kraken was 5,000. How do you even from a ship get a measurement of five? You just look at the water and be like, yep, 5,000 feet. That person had absolutely no concept of 5,000 feet. If the Kraken existed in reality, it might have had offspring. Yeah. Sure. In all the world's oceans, there would be giant monsters that could sink any ship. Totally. It's unlikely that the Kraken would have competitors in its habitat, so its population would grow strongly. Since the Kraken is enormous, it would need lots of food. Yeah. So the population of other large sea animals would fall significantly. Sure. Blue this is, I think, 5,000 feet. You know, I was learning about uh, this amazing thing called physics and how physics affects ecology. Uh, I actually had a, you know, one of the, one of the chapters, an entire chapter for one of my exams uh, about basically the the maximums, the limits of evolution and the limits of nature based on like oxygen demand, based on food demand, based on just the laws of physics. There are physical limits that organisms can reach. Um, the blue whale is just about the edge of the ocean's limit and way beyond the, you know, the uh, uh, terrestrial mammal's limit. 5,000 feet? I think it might just be slightly above the limit of what physics would allow. Yeah, there's a limit to how big an animal can get, how heavy it can get, wh where it could reasonably sustained by a skeleton or be able to walk or anything like that. I think 5,000 feet might be barely past that, just a little bit. Whales, great white sharks, other giant squids, all the big sea creatures would be in danger. 4,999, now that, that's possible. Many people are starving because of the reduction of large fish in the ocean. Urban economies that rely on fishing will be in decline. Prices for- Did that baby have a ocean. ponytail? Urban what the fuck? What is this baby's haircut? It has hair at the back, and then a ponytail on top, and then the rest of the head is like shaved? The Kraken belongs to the cephalopod genus. Does this it? species includes squid and octopus, some of the most intelligent creatures on the planet. The sure. Kraken is a skilled hunter and will never fight in the open. When the Kraken swims, it scares all the fish in the vicinity. But it might already be too late. A huge tentacle emerges from the water, resembling a high tower. Where is the Titanic coming into this at all? The ship, shattering it. The sailors scream and run. <laughs> I left for five minutes and came back to someone using a minigun on Cthulhu. Hey man, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Clearly you haven't been around very long if this is ever if this is uh, unreasonable to you. What if the sailors managed to detach the ship from the tentacles of this monster? With the help of powerful weapons, the ship's crew strikes back. <laughs> the Kraken retreats under the water. What is going hurt, on? Angry. It seems the battle is over, but here comes the worst. A whirlpool forms beside the ship. Thanks to its considerable weight, when the Kraken dives, it creates a whirlpool behind it. Like a drain in a giant bathtub, this what? whirlpool sucks the ship down. The battle with the Kraken is lost. The squid's eye is the size of a dinner plate. Thanks to this, they can see their prey from far away. <laughs> Similarly, a Kraken would spot the ship much sooner than sonar could pick up the Kraken. It what? You're telling me that a squid's eyes are better than sonar on a massive underwater animal. The, it would see us in this turbid sea.
with its squid eyes faster than we could sense it with sonar. That makes sense. Always have the drop on you. The most successful enemy of the Kraken is submarines. What? They travel at great depths and are equipped with powerful echolocators to help detect the Kraken in advance. Subs are well armed too, and the round metal body is not so easy to destroy. So people travel from continent to continent in armed submarines. A single Kraken may be defeated by a submarine, but what if there are several sea monsters? Three oh, Kraken no. can wrap their tentacles around the submarine and drag it deeper into the water where the pressure will destroy their enemy. In other words, they'll have a crush <laughs> on you. What's going on? The what was that? What, what? What a, just a weird and random segment to throw in. What if Christopher Columbus, on his famous journey, noticed an island that he thought was the New World? He approaches it, but tentacles emerge from the island and sink <laughs> Columbus's ship. The colonization of North America is delayed, maybe until airplanes are invented. And the first crewed flight wasn't until the 20th century. So Columbus doesn't discover the Americas because the Kraken eats his ship. Therefore, we don't discover that there's other continents until airplanes are invented. Interesting. There would be no Hollywood. There would be no hamburgers, no famous American music playing. There hamburgers, even an American invention? I feel like they're not. YouTube, which means you wouldn't be watching this video right now. No way. Hmm. No YouTube? Worst of all, the internet wouldn't exist either. No way. And all this because of one stupid monster squid. <laughs> the Vikings wouldn't sail on their long ships to raid and settle foreign territories. No. The history of Norway. Oh, no. What would we do if the Europeans couldn't colonize other countries and create third world impoverished and imbalanced countries. Whatever would we have done if colonization didn't happen? Oh no. Sounds like a positive. Hey, maybe the Titanic wouldn't have hit an iceberg, but a giant sea monster instead. Though it's unlikely that people would take trips on huge ocean liners in a world where the Kraken exists. Maybe though, the Kraken isn't all that aggressive. Still, they need a lot of food and because Is that of the their argument? People would not have invented the Titanic because they wouldn't want to swim on the same ocean as the Kraken. That's why if the Kraken was real, the Titanic wouldn't have sunk. In the future, the Kraken will migrate closer to the shore. In many countries, people then are not allowed to swim in the ocean. Imagine floating on the waves and a monster the size of a skyscraper is swimming right below you. How would Rel something 5,000 feet long ever fit <laughs> in the the shallow beach area imagine the calamari potential there is a lot of calamari potential a tremendous amount of plastic is thrown into the ocean near the coasts of large countries billions of tons of plastic will bother the kraken an <laughs> angry hungry monster can attack bridges like the golden gate bridge i thought they were going to say that we threw plastic in the ocean to kill the kraken Destroy the ocean, destroy the kraken. Imagine that a huge squid surrounds the bridge and blocks all traffic. Some of these squids <laughs> could break the strong cables with their power, and the entire structure would collapse into the water. No way! Ooh. But could the monster have actually existed? Legends stretch back years, but scientific evidence appeared in the middle of the 19th century. In 1857, a 3-inch diameter squid bee was discovered on the coast of Denmark. Other huge squid remains. How are you going to claim that it's 5,000 feet long and then be like, yeah, three inch squid beak? A 5,000 foot squid would have a three inch beak. That makes sense. While colossal squid has been officially discovered since then, it's been more than a hundred years, and we still don't know what max size they can grow to. The fact is, colossal <laughs> squids are one of. Yes, this is the conclusion. We found a really big squid. We know that there's the such thing as the colossal squid. Therefore, there are intelligent squid beings with armor and magic staffs. The most elusive creatures on Earth. Any dive to a greater depth requires powerful, bulky equipment. Underwater bath escapes and cameras make a lot of noise and light, which squids notice from afar. They flee before we can see them. That's not a squid. The legend of the Kraken probably <laughs> was an appeared octopus. because of a real colossal squid. It's difficult to say if these huge squids were the size of a small island, because the truth is, we've only studied about 5% of the ocean. It may be that in its depths, 
Monsters much more terrible than the Kraken swim. Like my nephew, Peter. I know his videos are satirical and just pure entertainment. They just feel so crazy tangential and insane. <laughs> yeah, the 5% line. 5% of the ocean? Therefore, 5,000 foot squid? Shout out to Peter. <laughs> my boy Peter. Peter's a real one.